So how to create a website in 10 minutes or less? Look, I created a car with beautiful wheels. <laughs> yeah, right. Hello, I'm your host, Kaysenio from Kaysenio.com. I'm the digital alchemist. And today I want to address the myth that says that you can build a website in 10 minutes or less. I'm a professional web designer and front-end developer, and I do make websites for a living. So I feel like I am qualified to address the topic. But before I dive in, there is something that I want to clear out. In no way is this an attack against other creators. The reality is that we're on YouTube. YouTube is a search engine and what is search gets views. So content creators have to make hard decisions about what they would like to create and what gets views. And if you think that trying to get views is bad, then I encourage you to create your own channel and then start working on a video for like a few hours, one day, or even weeks. And then let me know how would you feel if you got like three views among which yourself, your mom, and maybe your best friend and getting paid literally zero dollars for your hard work. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or just imagine working a full day at your current job and then at the end of the day, your boss comes around and he tells you, hey, buddy, sorry, but you ain't getting paid today. See you tomorrow. So my point is content creators try to get views because that's one of the ways that they get paid. So you can't blame them. We don't make the rules. That's how it works. And if millions of people are searching for a solution to create a website in 10 minutes or less, then it makes sense to create such a video. So once again, I'm not judging those that create those type of videos. They're just feeding the algorithm because they need to make a living just like you do. But the reason I create this video is because as a professional web designer and front end developer with many years of experience, I have never ever created a website in 10 minutes. So I'm going to explain why this is nonsense in my opinion and how long it actually takes to create a website. So make sure you watch till the end, unless of course you want to learn how to create a website in 10 minutes or less. So ready? Let's get started. One, what are we talking about? So first of all, when we talk about website, what is a website? If we say that a website is just a pack of pre-installed content, pre-installed pages and dummy content, then yeah, maybe you can create one in 10 minutes or less. But even then, the process of choosing a domain name that you can legally use and that is smart for your business and your marketing, as well as the process for the payment, will probably take you much more than 10 minutes. Now, in my world, a website is much more than that. It's like a shop or an office, and it consists of assets, content, strategies, legal documents, visuals, fonts, and much, much more. I actually created a video where I list more than 40 steps from start to launching your website. Now, let me make another analogy. What is the difference between a real car, a toy car, or a car that you can see in a cartoon on TV? They're all called cars, right? but only one of these can actually take you where you want, whereas the other ones are just fantasy. So if I don't mention which type of car I'm talking about, I could create a video called how to create a car in a few seconds. Let me show you. Beautiful. If I give this to a two year old kid, he may play with it for a few minutes or even a few hours. That might even become its favorite toy for a few days. But show this to a six year old and he's gonna laugh at you, let alone to an adult. This is not a car. It's just a poor representation of it. So I think it's very important to make sure we have the same definition of what a website is in professional terms. Now, if you just want to create a website for a hobby of yours and you may get away with something much simpler, but even then you still have to follow some rules and you still have to follow the law. And there are more laws coming each and every year to regulate the digital space. So these videos about creating a website in 10 minutes or less are not a lie, but they're just a tiny step in the process of creating an actual website. And that brings me to my next point. Two, it hurts everybody. I remember that old French movie where a merchant tries to sell thousands of pairs of jeans to a retailer for an outstanding price. And upon seeing the price, the retailer immediately accepts and pays up front, even though it sounds too good to be true. Okay, now fast forward a few weeks and now comes the day where he's supposed to get the merchandise delivered. And the jeans get delivered, but the only problem is they were made for a Barbie doll scale. So he gets thousands of pairs of jeans, but for Barbie dolls, not for humans. Now, technically, the merchant did not lie because all the measures were in the contract, but the retailer was so excited that he didn't see that. But still, 
how do you think the customer felt? And coming back to web design, that's how I feel that creating false expectation both hurt the people trying to build a website as well as our industry. Because how do you think that people feel when they get past 10 minutes and they still haven't figured out how to get their hosting and domain name? They often feel discouraged and worse, they feel like they are not smart enough, which is not true. Actually, I can't tell you how many clients I got that had been trying to create our websites for weeks, months, if not years sometimes. And on the other hand, how do you expect potential customers to value web design work when they feel like anyone could create a website in 10 minutes or less? Also, just like we are all unique and different, I feel like each and every website should have very specific elements tailored for the message that they're trying to put out there. So just adding pre-made themes without any sort of reflection only adds to the millions of websites that are poorly designed. And I'm being nice when I use the word designed. Because designed actually means that someone used their brains and creativity to actually try to build something. You don't have to be the best designer in the world, but at least put the time to try to understand what you're trying to convey as a message on this website. And even though nowadays we are blessed with solutions like WordPress and themes, it can also be a curse if not used properly. I've often talked about this, but one day a potential customer came to me and she was furious because she had trusted a web designer for branding and website. And then a few months later, as she was attending one of the main events for business revenue, she almost choked when she saw the stand of her main competitor next to her with the exact same logo, only the name had changed. And guess what? They had the exact same website, except for the logo with a different name, of course. So that web designer had just basically purchased one logo template as well as a WordPress theme and used it on all of her clients branding and website as I later found out. So as I was listening and then trying to present my services to that potential client, I could see in her eyes and I could feel in the tone of her voice that she had no trust whatsoever in our industry. And who could blame her? So I proceeded on to showing her many entries in my portfolio and then explaining my workflow from the brief to the wireframes, the prototype, and then onto the design. I managed to convince her, but it always makes me angry when I see people like this that have been taken advantage of, and then it becomes my job to try to fix things and redeem the whole industry. And if you create websites for a living, you've probably already gone through the same things. So how long does it take? Well, that is one of the most asked questions that I get every week. Well, look, it only took me a few seconds to create a beautiful ride. But if I wanted to build a Tesla, it would take a bit longer, don't you think? Let's approach this differently. What was the fastest time I was able to create a professional website? And just to be clear, by professional website, I'm not specifically talking about a website that you have to sell. It could be a website for yourself. But by professional website, I mean this. Getting the brief, creating wireframes and validating the structure. And then getting ready to use assets like the logo, the color palette, the fonts, the visuals. Choosing and validating font pairs if there is no visual identity, which is the case 90% of the time. Researching design inspiration and creating a mood board. And if you don't know what a mood board is, I have a few videos just about that. Researching for good visuals in case there aren't any. Optimizing the visuals. Naming the visuals with SEO in mind. Uploading the visuals. Setting up the development environment. Setting the website title and time zone settings. Temporarily block the search engines while the website is being built. Setting the permalink structure. Installing and activating a theme. Installing required plugins like a security plugin, a page or a theme builder, a custom login plugin, an SEO plugin, a cache plugin, a GDPR plugin if you need to comply with that legislation, and potentially many more plugins, unfortunately, depending on the complexity of your website. Creating all the pages without adding the content yet, creating the navigation menus, customizing the header, customizing the logo in the header as well as the site icon, customizing the overall content width, customizing the footer, creating the master design based on the brief, the wireframes, and the mood board. Now, I don't know about you, but that phase can take from one hour to several days depending on the god of inspiration. Then, creating secondary pages design if relevant for pages such as the contact page, the product pages, and so on. Creating GDPR pages and other legal pages and implementing the content. The legal and validated content. Optimize all pages and special pages for desktop, tablet, and mobile views. And don't forget landscape modes for tablet and mobile devices. Testing on major browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge at the bare minimum. Preferably on both Windows and Mac where relevant. And don't forget iOS and Android devices. 
Then transferring the development website to the production environment, which is where your website will eventually stay. Activate premium plugins that require authentication like Elementor Pro, for example. Setting up social sharing and messaging apps if relevant. Disabling maintenance mode, re-enabling search engines, optimizing plugins and add-ons because you don't want those plugins to load everything they have in store because it might make your website really, really slow. Next, setting up and implementing Google Analytics or similar solutions. Setting up and implementing data pixels if relevant. Setting up the SEO plugin. And in case you don't know what SEO is, basically it's what ranks you on top of Google search and other search engines, of course. Next, creating the XML sitemaps. That's still some SEO stuff. Next, activating and setting up a caching plugin to make your website faster. You could also set up a content delivery network or CDN to make your website even faster. Next, activate and set up a security plugin to secure your hard work. Next, test and debug your website in all major browsers one more time. Register your website on search engines, make a backup of the new website. Next, download that backup and install it on a subdomain just to make sure that it works and that the archive is not corrupted. If it's good, you can now delete the subdomain, but make sure that you archive the backup. In a nutshell, that's the bare minimum, and I'm sure that I left a few steps out of it. And bear in mind, there is little to no coding here because we are just using WordPress and a theme or a page builder. So the thing is, even for a one-page website, you need to take care of all of this. I mean, if you really want a professional website. Otherwise, of course, you still have the option to use the cheapest and most scammy web hosting company, install WordPress, and forget about everything I've just talked about. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, and I know that it feels way nicer when someone tells you that you can create all of that in 10 minutes or less. But hey, do you want the truth or you want a fairy tale? It's your call. There should be an Olympic discipline where people build websites in like 20 seconds or less. The Usain Bolt of web design. Hmm, just picture that. Okay, let's be serious for a moment. The fastest I did to create all of that, but bear in mind that I had everything ready. So the assets, the color palette, everything, the content, everything was ready and was given to me. And it still took me one long day from very early in the morning to very late. And even with that, I still had a few things to tweak the next day. And bear in mind, this was just a one page website. And I've also managed to create very simple five pages websites in a couple of days. But that is the exception. Usually I hate rushing because the inspiration side of things is not predictable. So I like to leave some time in between the various phases and rotate the projects. That allows me to let inspiration do its work in due time. And consequently, that allows me to take several projects at the same time and do a rotation. One of the main goals of this channel is to help. And for that, you need the truth. And that's the truth. But I don't want you to be discouraged because even though it sounds like a lot, it's not that hard. It just takes time, dedication and optimization. And by optimization, I mean that I now have workflows that allow me to work way faster. And many of these steps go really, really fast. So if you want a more in-depth and practical look, I'm going to recommend a couple of videos. The first one is a full website redesign walkthrough that will show you all the steps involved in a fun way. And I won't say more. And the second is a free full web design course that will teach you how to create a one-page website. Enjoy!